Where you from? East St. Louis, Illinois. Back to East St. Louis, Illinois. Gigi was nothing but like maybe one or two years old at that time. And I'm out of this car and everything. I thought the boy was going crazy. But one thing that I knew, he wasn't that crazy. That boy was making money. That boy was selling. I mean, he was a salesman. Hell, he could have he could have worked for uh, 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 for them bush people over there with that beer. I was born Grover Gillespie III, October 22, 1982. I grew up with my brother Travis Macklin and Terrence Macklin. My mother Annette Gillespie and Grover Gillespie Jr. birthed me from Centerville Hospital. Then they moved me to Washington Park, Illinois, where I grew up on 43rd Street. I went through a lot with my brothers, you know what I'm saying? My brother Terrence, he was a gangster disciple, so you know we went through a lot with him. And my brother Trey, he was kind of a smart musical guy, so properly by our parents, but we grew up in the streets as well. So, this is my story, when art imitate life. No more is you to G and time is still a moving the show. Trying to be the first kid in my hood, trying to make a meal for show. I'm universal Simon, what this world can live without me. They stress my name and disrespect of my name, my own generation's dying. So we invent your rappers in my hood, and that show me stay forever. They pushing these rocks like, wait, life is how you make it. No matter what trick, you can't fake it. But only God can judge me when I'm confident and focus on them presidents. Tell me, say they so for the Benjamin. Pray minds be my new friend. It's a dirty game, but who can you blame this whole world? Go insane in a brain, it's worth scary, it's like hell's movies, bigger than life. Y'all saw y'all saw to the devil, 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 y'all
You know, he was born in October 19, 2004. You know, his mother, you know what I'm saying, got pregnant and went away to Mount Vernon, Illinois, and had him, you know what I'm saying, and then let me really participate, you know what I'm saying, in the birth. So I never got a chance to sign the birth certificate of my son. I never got a chance to even hold my son. My son, I feel like my son was taken from me and stolen from me. So, you know what I'm saying, that's the reason why I cry every night, you know what I'm saying. I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, he belonged to me, you know what I'm saying, because I'm his father, you know. But, you know, his mother saying, I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, he belonged to me, you know what I'm saying, because I'm his father, you know. But, you know, his mother, she did some dirty shit, man, you know what I'm saying. You read the book, you know what I'm saying, you'll understand. You just get that one art every day life, but you'll understand it. But this is my little son, and I love him. And I just want to tell you, son, your daddy love you, and I love you, boy. This is Big Meech. Black Mafia family. I met Bit Meach in St. Louis, Missouri at Streetside Records. You know what I'm saying? I gave him my CD Heavy Rotation when I first came out. You know what I'm saying? He, he took it and then he gave me a magazine. And that's where I got these two pages from that come out of that magazine to show proof that I did meet him and we shook hands and he said he was going to get this to my guy Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? As you know, it's young Jeezy. So... Everybody, you know what I'm saying, just trying to be leery, trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying, how I met this nigga, trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying, how I met this nigga, but, you know, this nigga, he, he a real ass nigga, and I appreciate him for taking care of me, CTE for life, and you know I got you, Bit Meach, free Bit Meach. Hey, it's something about the Lord, you know, I love it, you know, I really do, you know, I wasn't joking. You wrong, I, I ain't trying to miss the old boy too. Hey, we know you be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy was having a kid, so I was pushing it on the cat. Boo, where you been? Uh, you know, my auntie Francine was in the hospital. We had to go uh, get her glasses right quick. You know what I'm saying? I had missed y'all. Yeah, you look nice. I appreciate it. You look nice too. <laughs> You and my little niece. Mama got out the car. Grown now. Hmm? Mama got out the car yet? She should be behind you. I think she is in this car. Yeah. Which one? This one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. 
So, you know what I'm saying? I salute you, bro, the lesbian, Junior, you know what I'm saying? You know, I love you. And I just want to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Through it all, you know what I'm saying? You've been the best dad ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just riding, man. Just thank you. Get on my mind and tell them when I was doing the film. I asked Tanya. started when we, when I was about 15 years old, uh, I came back from Seattle, Washington, because I had left Illinois, because uh, the doctor, the psychiatrist of mine had told my mother it would be wiser for her to move me out of East St. Louis because it was so violent at that time, back in my day. And so we left went to Seattle, Washington for five years, and when we came back, I went to stay with Annette because when none of the other family members wanted to fuck with me, you know, excuse my name. But uh, uh, I went to stay with Annette in Washington Park on 43rd and Buncombe Road. 
And, um, and then, man, me and G started when we, when I was about 15 years old. Uh, I came back from Seattle, Washington, because I had left Illinois. Uh, the doctor, the psychiatrist of mine, had told my mother it would be wiser for her to move me out of East St. Louis because it was so violent at that time, back in my day. And so we left him to Seattle, Washington for five years, and when we came back, I went to stay with Annette because when none of the other family members wanted to fuck with me. You know, excuse my name. But uh, um, I went to stay with Annette in Washington Park on 43rd and Buncombe Road. And, um, and there I met Terrence, I met Lane. Uh, Terrence was a GD in St. Louis, Illinois. Gigi wasn't nothing but like maybe one or two years old at that time. And so he really <laughs> didn't see me there because he didn't remember things at those ages. So now he grew up and uh, I had went away again for a while. We moved out and then plus I got older. Uh, went to high school, didn't see him for a while. Then as time went on, we started bumping into each other. We did a little of this, did a little of that. You know how street connects go. You know what I'm saying, for real? My niggas in the hood call me FUBU at times. But the truth is, my real niggas that go way back call me Shane. But me and Gigi grew up, he had a few problems. And you know, him and Terrence always seen the soul. You know what I'm saying? And so, but when the shit got real thick, they called me in on that shit. No more to talk about, cause you. Know. Hey, uh, I'm Uncle Buck. I'm Gigi's nephew, uncle. That's my nephew. The main thing that I want to say about the young man is this: when I first started noticing him, actually getting involved in music, I didn't really take it serious that he really wanted to do the music. At about the age of five, he started listening to a lot of that uh, rap stuff. You know, I, I'm old school. I'm used to Rita Franklin and the Spinners and all them, but not him. He was used to that, that, that stuff where you couldn't understand nothing, but he understood it. And all of a sudden, he just started writing. He wanted to write and write, and then he bought some, he showed me some CDs, he started selling them out of his car and everything, I thought the boy was going crazy. But one thing that I knew, he wasn't that crazy, that boy was making money, that boy was selling, I mean he was a salesman, he could have he worked for, uh, 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 for them bush people over there with that beer. And uh, one thing about it was, he kept on writing to these people about, he really wanted them to, to notice his uh, material and stuff. So one day, I told him, I said, Gigi, uh, Ron Simmons was going to be in Cahokia. And uh, he thought I was lying, but as natural, because, you know, I'm Uncle Buck. I tell a lot of lies, you know. But this time, I'm for real. Me and him sat out there and went out there to Cahokia. And lo and behold, DJ, spin me. GG, king of the motherfucking Midwest. Y'all ain't fucking with me. 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 Y'all ain't fucking with me.
fuck